Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer 2. With Wear OS 5, Google has discontinued support for old style watch faces. That's a shame if you have a favorite watch face that you can no longer install and use on your new Wear OS 5 watch. But if you have the watch face APK file, all is not lost. Today I'm gonna to show you a method for installing and enabling your old watch face using Wear Installer 2. I don't have a Wear OS 5 watch, so I'm going to demonstrate on my Galaxy Watch 4 here, but the process is exactly the same even on the new Galaxy Watch 7 and Ultra. Firstly, let's do some setup on the watch. We'll go to Settings. We'll go to Developer Options. Now, if Developer Options isn't shown on your watch, just Google how to enable it. It's very easy. And I recommend that you connect your watch to a charger and turn on stay awake when charging, as I've done here. Also turn on ADB debugging and wireless debugging. Now, let me just bring in my Android phone here and open Wear Installer 2. If you haven't used Wear Installer 2 before, there's some notes here about how everything works and a video that you can watch, but we're going to step through it uh, quite quickly today. The first thing to do is to make sure that the IP address of the watch is entered on Wear Installer 2's home screen. So you can see that it's 192.168.1.210, and I've already entered it on Wear Installer 2's home screen here. Let me tap Done. And we're going to pair the phone and the watch over ADV. So pair new device. And in Wear Installer 2, pair with watch. Again, there's some explanation about how everything works, which you can read, but Let's tap Enable. And on the watch, you'll see a pairing code and a pairing port, and we're going to enter them here. So pairing code first, that's 724393. 724393. And then a space, and then the pairing port here that's shown after the IP address. And you can see that's 35559. 35559. And we'll tap Done. We get a message attempting to pair and then successfully paired. Now this, is, this part is important not to forget. There's now a random port that's shown after the IP address. And you can see it's 41799. And we need to enter that in the space provided back on Wear Installer 2's home screen. So 41799. Done. Okay, so now let me just go back to my watch face so we can see, see what happens as we uh, as we progress this. But if I select custom APK, then this is a list of all the APK files in my downloads folder on my watch. And you'll see I have one here, pixelwatchfaces.apk. And these are old style pixel watch faces that uh, we're going to use to install on this Galaxy, Galaxy watch here. So if I tap on that, I get a message to say, this files for Wear OS, continue and install. So it's sending that APK file from my phone to my watch. And it's now installed. And this is the this is the new part. Wear installer 2 checks if the APK file contains old style watch faces. And if it does, it lists them out here. So we've got a list 
of these uh, old style pixel watch faces. I say old style because these are the ones that don't use the new Wear OS 5 features. Uh, they were built for the uh, for the first generation of uh, Pixel watches. And we can select any of these watch faces and install them onto this Galaxy watch. So let's say this one. And we can see that that's installed on the watch. Let's select another one. So you get the idea. So you can try each of the watch faces in the uh, in the APK file until you find the one that that you want. And when you are happy with it, just tap finish and finish here. We get a message to say turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do because we don't want to waste battery. So I'll just go back in developer options. I can turn off stay awake when charging as well, but let's turn off wireless debugging. Let's turn off ADB debugging. And uh, so I should mention a couple of caveats here. Firstly, when you enable an older style watch face on a Wear OS 5 device, you'll find that the watch face doesn't respond to a long tap, which normally displays the watch face carousel. So on this Wear OS 4 device, I get the watch face carousel here when I long tap. That won't work on a Wear OS 5 device. So if you want to change back to a new style watch face, you will need to do so in the companion phone app. Secondly, since this method is unsupported by Google, it might stop working in the future. But for now, I hope this enables you to continue using your favorite watch face from your older watch on your new Wear OS 5 device. You can find links to Wear Installer 2 and my other free apps at my Freepop website. The link is in the notes to this video. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.